got my dress from Yandy.com, my melon dress. And someone's already taken a bite out of it. Isn't that a bit rude? Just kidding, that's how it's meant to come. Don't you think it's just cute? It's so adorable. And, you know, it's a really nice material. It fits really well. You know, I'm the type who sort of wants it a bit tighter, so, you know, if you want it really tight, go the smaller size. And I've also got my melon glasses on. So check out yandy.com because they have got some fantastic outfits on there. And happy Halloween as well. You know, we don't really celebrate Halloween in Australia. And I don't think they really do it in Thailand, where I am at the moment. But happy Halloween all the same. And I'm thinking of you guys over here in Thailand. I'm thinking of you over there in America and wherever else you are. And I hope you're having a great time. And yeah, get one of these outfits. They're so cool. I mean, you, they're actually really affordable. They're about $60, which I think is great for a dress. Yandy.com. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to try on the banana one. Okay, here's the banana one. Isn't this just cute? And I have my little banana accessory. Woo! Okay, so it looks on the other side. Ooh. Back. So, this is from Yandy.com as well, and I think it's gorgeous. I mean, like, you've got to wear this out somewhere. Like, Halloween, it would be perfect, or wherever, really, because it's, you know, it's versatile. You could wear it up like this as well. You know, you zip it right up, or you zip it right down, whatever you like. And look at these little banana peel thingies. So, I thought maybe I'd just do my video in this today. You know, I was thinking about it before. I went to Cambodia, I just got back not long ago, and I was like, where's the fruit? There just wasn't enough fruit in Cambodia. I mean, like, there seemed to be a lot around, but none of it was ripe, a lot of it was imported, so it just ripens crappy, and to tell you the truth, the durian that I struck was not too good. I have other people saying, no, no, it's okay, but... They're not eating a 100% raw diet like me. So to get the quantity that I need, I have to be around a lot of fruit. And this is just a lesson for me, hey. You know, because I actually struggled to stay raw during these, like, four days. It was really tough. And the only thing that really, like, pulled me through was sugarcane juice, which, to tell you the truth, was pretty watery in Cambodia. So I was drinking liters and liters a day. So you know, the lesson here is don't put yourself in a country where there's not enough fruit. You know, I was also eating a lot of dried fruit, which that helped a lot. So don't put yourself in a country where there is not much ripe fruit, not much fruit available. I mean, like, I know Cambodia has been flooded, so this could play a big part in the reason that there's not much fruit, or not much ripe fruit. But then again, I was talking to Julian Ryder, and he said, no, I went there, there was not much fruit there. It's not a big fruit culture. You know, it's kind of crazy, because we're right next door. Like, I'm in Thailand now, and the fruit culture here is amazing. So, don't travel to countries. If you want to do a high-carb, raw, vegan lifestyle, 100%, don't travel to destinations like the Himalayas, for instance, you know, it's going to be a little bit tough to get fruit, to get enough fruit, probably. I haven't been there, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing it's going to be tough. Alright, so that was a big lesson for me. And I got my education visa, like I was only meant to be there a day and get the education visa. But, yeah, they decided it's going to be four days. Hang on, I'm going to show you. My education visa. Where is it? Come on. There we go. Yeah. So I'm officially a Thailand. I'm officially learning how to speak Thai in Thailand for the next year. And I'm breaking my banana bunch, flicking it around like this. Oh well. I got this in Cambodia. It's actually like a dollar. It's so good. It's made out of like cotton or something like that. So I'm going to learn Thai for next year. 
And I find out later about the, you know, the immigration place in Cambodia, the Thai place, that I could have bribed them <laughs> to get my passport back, my visa back quicker. So mental note, bribe government officials next time. <laughs> But anyway, if you're going to travel these countries, make sure you have a heap of dried fruit. You know, I say don't go there to start with, but anyway, if you do, make sure you have a heap of dried fruit. Make sure you know someone in that country already who can give you the heads up on the fruit. Um, make sure you just be organized. Don't make it easy on myself to be 100% high carb raw vegan. I live in tropical countries. I rarely see a winter. So that's today's tip, okay? And hope you like my banana outfit.